I think Gremlins is a better Christmas movie than Die Hard. On today, the 15th day of Vlogmas, I had no idea what I was going to talk about. I had a few things in my list, but hey, look, work got a little crazy today. So I knew I had to get into my sewing room today to work on the stockings. So I decided that I would do a time lapse of making stockings. I'm using the Fat Quarter Shop stocking template. Uh, it's available at fatquartershop.com. I put a link below in the description. Uh, and they have a really awesome tutorial. So this isn't meant to be a tutorial for it. Uh, I had everything already pre-cut before. Uh, I'm going to start the video time lapse. And then uh, it's just going to be video of sewing kind of like yesterday. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the way through the stockings. But we'll see how far I get. And then if I don't get all the way through, we'll go through the rest tomorrow. So without further ado, cue the time lapse.
Well, that was a lot of fun to sew. Once you've done sewing, you have a nice stocking that looks like this. Uh, I used fleece, fusible fleece for my innards. Uh, I believe that Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop used soft and stable. So this isn't quite as stable as that, but I like my stockings to have a little bit of give in them. Uh, I think that they fit a little bit more naturally. So once you have your two halves of your stocking sewn together, you can reach in and pull it right sides out. It's not difficult to do. And then you push out all the edges as best as you can. Uh, I think a purple thing is probably a really good thing for this, uh, but also it's hard to reach down into these far corners. But I'm just pushing everything out. And then for these larger edges, I like to just press them, finger press like this, kind of pushing the seam as far out to the edge as you can. Uh, you can obviously take this to the ironing board after you have finished pushing out all the edges, but this is, gets you into a good location. And almost there. And then once you have it pressed outside, you take a lining piece and I'm just going to push it all the way in. Line up the edges. Line up the seams. And I use a binding clip to get the two seams to nest together. There's more pieces that are going to go in here after we are done with them. I just haven't gotten them ready. Uh, you need to get the cuff in there and the hanger. So I just start out with these two binding clips. And as you see, it's a finished innard. At this point, uh, I just have to sew it in. But like I said, you want to get the uh, cuff and the hanger in here before we sew. But it's getting a little bit late, so I don't want to spend any additional time tonight. Uh, I'm going to finish these tomorrow. So you're going to get three time lapse videos in a row from me. <laughs> so until tomorrow. Merry Vlogmas!